Fire away, guys. Red Rock, that seems harsh. Yes and no, if I'm being honest. Um, I thought we were right in the game at 1 0 and at 2 1. Um, but we did, we shot ourselves in the foot. We made a couple of clear errors uh, in the build up to the third goal. And we got punished. And at this level, you do get punished. Uh, it shows the ruthless nature of the league. Um, you know, just before, uh, when we were at 2 0 down, we made some aggressive changes. We got back into the game, whether it was a penalty or not, at 2 1. And yeah, really disappointing the manner that we conceded the third goal. And then you're caught in a balance against a team like this where you want to be aggressive and try and get back in the game. But you know you're going to leave yourself open. And there were spaces, and a team like that smelled blood. And obviously towards the end then, they start opening you up a little bit and started opening us up, up, us up a little bit. But I want to say that there's some positives there. There were some really good moments, I think, in the first half. We carried out a game plan very well. We were compact, resilient, and retained a real threat on the counter-attack. Um, and we had some good moments from set-piece, and we had some good counter-attacking opportunities I would like us to be more clinical in. Um, so overall, yeah, some good stuff. But we've got to learn, we've got to learn quickly as well in certain areas. Rather than the sort of template of where we want to be. I don't think, I think it's dangerous for me to say that we you know, they're a model for us to, to look for. I think what they are is it shows if you've got a plan, if you've got a way of doing things and you commit to that, then you can not only stay in the league, then you can thrive. We're Luton Town, we've got to do things differently. We won't be able to do what Brighton have done. We have to do it our way. Um, we have got a plan. We've had that over the last decade or so and had a lot of success. We're now going into what's probably going to be the biggest challenge you know, the club's had. We know how big a, a scale of um, a challenge it is. But we can't change what we do just because of that. So we're going to have some tough days. Um, but I would say as well, we're going to get better from here. There's still players that aren't quite with us at the moment who are not quite fit. One or two injuries. Uh, Ross Barkley's obviously got to come into the group as well. So there's a few that are going to come in and help us. And we're still not finished in the transfer market. So I was pleased with the stuff that I saw today. But I know we're going to get better. But we've got to get better quickly. Rob, do you think that you showed that you can, you can handle this level even though it's 4 1 in the end, but you're pretty close up until well, the last 10 minutes? Yeah, I feel so. And the players said that before I said anything or before I attempted to say anything in the dressing room that you know, we've got to take confidence from, from a lot of that. Um, and you're always learning. You're, you're always looking to try and improve and get better. And we've got to make sure now we, we use some of that, that game to make sure we do that. Um, but there's certainly areas there that will give us confidence that we can compete. And we've got to believe that. And we do believe that. Rob, based on what you said about getting players settled and maybe bringing some more in, does this two-week break you have now, is that an advantage? Do you see it that way? Yeah, I think so. Definitely. And then again, we're going into a really difficult game, Chelsea away in 13 days' time. Uh, but it gives us an opportunity to work on players' fitness, get one or two more back and, and have some real competition. Hopefully we can do a little bit more business in the, in the market as well. Um, so I do feel in, in, in 13 days' time we'll be in a stronger place. Yeah, like I said, I thought the first half we were good. They're gonna, they create chances against anyone and everyone. So you know you're gonna. We said it in the week in the build-up. They're gonna open us up at times. So your recovery runs. You've got to be able to sprint back and get behind the ball. They might chop you, chop you again. You know they, they can get into really dangerous positions. Um, but we've got to make sure that we get back with numbers and then try and defend. The, the first goal was disappointing. We didn't stop the cross and we didn't mark in the box. Those are details that we're normally very good at and we value those things. Um, but yeah, I thought the first half we were, we were good. And uh, second half, I thought tactically, a couple of adjustments that they made were very good. They doubled up out wide, so made it a little bit more difficult for us to get pressure, especially on our right side, their left side. And their left side was Pedro Matoma. It's not bad, is it? You know? And uh, they started getting some joy there. We managed to stay in it, like I said, at 2-1, we're right in the game. Really disappointed with the third goal. Did you, did you know I thought both were harsh, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Please for Carlton, yeah, please for the fans to be able to celebrate a goal, which was nice. 
But at that moment at 2-1, I'm thinking, right, come on, we're in this now. We can get back in the game. And, uh, you know, Alex, we'd made some real positive changes and, uh, and felt that then with that amount of time to go, we can really uh, cause them some problems. But, you know, again, you can't make those mistakes in, uh, in those areas of the pitch against those players. He did. Yeah, he did. That's why we brought him to the club. We really like him. He is lively. Um, and I think he's... Um, I think he's going to impress people at this level. And just to the support of me, the It was nice for them to, to come here, celebrate, and you know, be, be down here for the first Premier League game for the football club. But I don't, I don't want anyone to be happy about losing football matches. We're certainly not. You know, we accept that we're going to at times this year because of the level we're at, but we don't like it. Um, but it was amazing the support that we had. The reception that they gave us at the end was 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 terrific as well. Massive thanks to them. You know they mean so much to us. How much do you personally enjoy the most the experience of the first Premier League game as manager? And as I say, I don't like losing, so didn't enjoy that much. Um, I just ask about Tom. Obviously, back in competitive action today, the first time since what happened in the playoff final. How, how good is it to have him back? It's great to have him back and I've said that a lot during pre-season. You know, he's had a bit of a, you know, obviously a really difficult period after the final. And then we've had to build him up a little bit more slowly than some of the others. He's had a number of games now in pre-season, so but another 90 plus minutes today will um, will stand him in good stead. But it's amazing to have him. He's our captain, he's our leader. So it's great to have him out on the pitch.